Hi, Charlie Richards here with Tag Mag 2016 here interviewing the real lies at the Green Door store in Brighton. Let's see how it went. I'm Tom. Uh, I'm Kev. I'm Pat. And so guys, welcome to Brighton. What do you think of the venue? What do you think of the place? Yeah, we like the venue a lot. We've uh, played here before at the Great Escape. Uh, yeah, we enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a great it's show. Very uh, dubby sound system. Yeah, that's a big. Yeah. yeah. So, you just released a new album, uh, album, Real Life, on the 15th or 16th. How was the recording process? Um, I mean, it was quite a tough one. It was actually, it was kind of recorded over a few years. Um, but yeah, I mean, the way that we tend to work is like Pat will create sort of samples or loops and stuff like that, and then he'll send it across to me. And you sort of talked about North Circular earlier, like that's sort of was um, established kind of template for the way that I work at least. So Pat will send me like sort of a 20 second loop. I'll literally listen to it about three or 400 times, and then sit down and write all the lyrics in one go. Um, so Naked Ambition, Black Market Blues, North Circular. Um, all of my ones were kind of written in that way. Yeah, it took it took a long time to do it. Um, look, it does feel more like um, it feels more like an early singles compilation to me. Listening back to it, a lot of the songs, you know, different uh, different genres, I guess you'd say, um, different ideas going into the song. But, um, but yeah, no, I, it's uh, it took us it took us longer than we thought we would. But you know, the reception's been really good, and uh, I'm glad we glad we took that extra bit of time. Sweet. So, um, real life sounds like it draws a lot of influence from different artists. Um, my parents, who are also massive fans, say that your parents people, are fans. My parents, parents are fans. Woo! Trust me. Um, they say you <laughs> draw sweet. influence from people like New Order, Pet Shop Boys. Are you know, using that, your parents that? as a device so that you don't have to say these comparisons maybe, yourself? Maybe. <laughs> the, my my grand reckons you sound like just like Pete Hook. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, other 80s groups, like, they draw influence, um, yeah. so from you guys, who do you think your influences are? Uh, our influence is, well, it, it, like, we're as we like those bands, and we think they are like, classic British artists, we're not really influenced by them um, as such, it's it kind of, be, it'd be, I'd find it quite boring to just, you know, rip off bands mm, that I yeah. loved uh, and do that, I don't think that's kind of what we're about. I think really like the, our biggest influences are uh, cultural influences more than musical. Uh, very very interested in sort of um, like the boys' own culture of uh, of yesteryear and people like Weatherall um, and the, the production uh, techniques of bands like KLF. Mm. Um, I mean, it's like it's quite. We kind of. I I think we're more influenced by circumstances than anything that's kind of gone before. That's why I find the sort of 80s, 90s comparisons a bit kind of grating because, you know, with the way that we work, the way the music sounds like it does is because we work in our bedrooms, which is like part of the sort of yeah. economic reality of living in London. Mm. Um, the things we write about or things we talk about with our friends or our friends or things we do with our friends, um, you know, which invariably leads on to the way the music sounds itself is like it's influenced by club culture. That's because we go out a lot. Yeah. Know? And um, I mean, I. I don't think we're doing anything other than just being completely true to ourselves, you know, and that's what our name's about, that's what the name of the album's yeah. about. Um, at the same time, I wouldn't say that, like, to be since when you're sincere, it has to be boring, you have to talk about this, like, Luddite way about your world, you know. Yeah. I think there's a real value in kind of, kind of taking a step back from what you do in your lifestyle and your culture and trying to kind of romanticise it and find the romance in, you know, the, your day-to-day -day life. Yeah. I, think, I think that's what we do more than kind of sit there listening to old 80s, yeah. like 12 inches, just like yeah. creating, making notes in our like, the yeah. journals or whatever, because that's just not how we work. Yeah. All right, so I remember hearing North Circle on the first time on a Noisy article, and um, the song plays like a poem in an ode to a motorway. And um, how do you guys feel about the production of this specific track? Um, production of it. North Circle, yeah. Uh, the, I mean, as I said, like the production of that, that was kind of Pat finding the loop or sending me across the loop that was maybe 20 seconds long. Um, and me sort of walking around up and down the North Circular um, after quite a rough time. I was going through quite a bad time at the time. Uh, and just sitting down and writing it all in one go. 
climb yeah. when I was feeling pretty low. Best way of writing, really, isn't it? Uh, for, for me, it seems to be the best way of doing it. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's, it's different between different people, I suppose, yeah. yeah. So, Pipe um, writes best when he's happy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> when he's woken up, sitting in my bedroom, my records, had a good dream, had full breakfast, <laughs> and he knocks bangers out. <laughs> On the opposite. <laughs> So you've all came a long way since 2012 with the release of the album and your debut single back in 2012 with Dab Housing and plenty of coverage on BBC Radio 1. How do you feel about this acclaimed success? Um, yeah, it was, it was more last year, wasn't it? 2014, it got played by Zane. Was yeah, it this year, even? It's 2014. Yeah, but no, it's really good. It's, um, you know, it's not something that we ever really sit down or considered or expected. Um, I remember hearing Dub Housing on the Radio 1 breakfast show yeah. and if someone had ever told me that I'd have got a, uh, an industrial dub song with a pretty blatant drug reference in the title <laughs> playing on morning breakfast radio, I wouldn't have believed them. So yeah, no, it's been a, um, it's been a lot of fun and uh, it's just you know, it's exciting that lots of people get to hear our music. Yeah. So um, your music videos range from night outs at parties to long solitary monologues in a, uh, in a phone booth. Um, is it right in saying that you wish for your music and subjects to be expressed visually with your videos? I think it comes back to you know what we were saying in terms of I mean, music for me that doesn't emerge from a certain way of life or a certain culture is pretty pointless to be honest with you. I don't understand yeah. why people do it. I'm not, we're not, we're, none of us are kind of these people who sort of, and fair play to those people, you know, they just go along to a rehearsal room and have a jam for like the whole of Sunday. And they don't do anything with it and it doesn't really yeah. relate to their lives in any way. I mean, like, I'm my professional, my background is I'm a writer, Pat was like a DJ. Yeah. Watson was a songwriter, but so we've always kind of approached it in that way. Um, we're more, I think, we're more of like a lifestyle band, like than kind of like musicians or whatever. You know, that's yeah. kind of the last thing we sort of thought. We'd I don't know if any scales. Yeah, um, yeah. I can tell you what any keys the tunes are. Yeah, we always really done. We've written like a key change, but our bass player is a lot more like musically yeah. au fait. It's like yeah. that's not key change. It's like I'm a drummer, so um, when we write music, I'm like, what the hell is this? I don't yeah, understand yeah. it. Yeah, They're basically all drummers. Uh, <laughs> all drummers are. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, the visual aspect is like it's really important to us because our music doesn't really make sense without it. You know? Yeah. And so um, I read that Seven Sisters was written just for a night out with friends. Um, does this have any relation to the Seven Sisters in East Sussex? <laughs> uh, it, I'd love to be able to say that it does, but unfortunately it doesn't. doesn't. Uh, it's a reference to a part of North London where we, we used to live. I uh, mean, Kev used, used to live just off Seven Sisters Road mm. in um, in North London, and the songs about that year when we lived on that road and the um, and the it was a, it was the, a the mischief place. The, the mischief that we got up to for that year. <laughs> yeah, it was a strange year. Yeah. All right, well, uh, final two questions. How would you best describe your music to someone that would love to listen to Real Lives? I always struggle with this one. I used to be a music writer. Electric, electric always, pop. <laughs> electric, definitely not electric pop, definitely not new lad. Definitely New not. lad electro pop for the modern man. <laughs> yeah, something for the weekend. Yeah. You know when you used to love people used to go to barbers and they'd give them like tuck a little condom in their pocket and go, yeah. something for the weekend, yeah. sir? Yeah. <laughs> like, I think it's something for the weekend. Something like that, yeah. yeah. If, if you know, you know. Yeah. Alright, and finally, where do you guys see yourselves in the next few years? Possibly another album or more tours? Definitely another album. Um, we've sort of, we've started, we just started writing the second one quite recently and um, yeah, it's going to be, I think it's going to end up being quite different to the first one. Um, but it, I think it'll come out more as a, as a as an album than the first one, which which really is, like I said, it does feel like uh, just because of the way we started working, feels like a singles compilation. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to sitting down and, and writing what would be, I guess, you know, our first proper album, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Thank you. All right. Great. Great. Thank you. All nice good. One. Nice one. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you guys. Okay. Nice one.